Translating sentences containing math problems into numbers is like translating words from one language to another. You have to choose words or symbols that mean the same thing in both languages. I can say hola when hanging out with my Spanish-speaking friends. That translates to hello in English. I use English when I'm at home. Both words mean the same thing, but I use them at different times. This is true in math, too. Let's translate some word sentences into equations. Let's look at an example. Translate the sentence into an equation. 7 more than 3 times a number is 13. How can I write 7 more than 3 times a number is 13 as an equation? Let's look at the words in the sentence. What does more than mean? More than means to add. I can write a plus sign for more than. Since the sentence reads 7 more than, I write a 7 in front of the plus sign. What do the rest of the words mean? Times means to multiply. I will use n to represent the unknown number. 3 times a number would be 3 times n, or just 3 with the n written next to it. What does is mean? Is means is equal to. I'll use the equal sign to show it equals 13. Now I have my equation. So the sentence, 7 more than 3 times a number is 13, can be written as the equation, 7 plus 3n equals 13. The sentence and the equation mean the same thing. It's the language of mathematics. Let's try another example. Twice the difference of a number and 5 is 18. Twice means to multiply two times. The difference means I will subtract. Be careful, a number and 5 does not mean x plus 5. Finding the difference means it is a subtraction problem, so I'll write x minus 5. I'll put it in parentheses to show I'm multiplying the quantity x minus 5 by 2. I'll finish the translation with equals 18. So, the sentence, twice the difference of a number and 5 is 18, can be written as the equation 2 times the quantity x minus 5 equals 18. I like to solve riddles using math. Here's one that I made up. My friend Elliot's age is 3 years less than 4 times his sister's age. Elliot is 17 years old. How old is his little sister? 4, 5, or 6? Hmm. First, I need to translate the words into an equation. Then, I need to see which number, 4, 5, or 6, will make the equation true. Let's decide on a variable for the unknown. Let the unknown be y. I can write 4y to show that it is 4 times the unknown which is his sister's age. I know that less than means to subtract. When we read this in English, the quantity you are subtracting is read before the whole. In math, you write the number that's subtracted after the whole quantity. So I write minus 3 after the 4y. Completing the equation is easy. I just write equals 17 to show that Elliot is 17 years old. Once I have a sentence translated into an equation, I can determine which number makes the equation true using substitution. I can substitute each number for y and see which makes the equation true. I will try 4. Does 4 times 4 minus 3 equal 17? 4 times 4 is 16, minus 3 is 13. So no, 4 doesn't make the equation true. Let's try 5. 4 times 5 is 20, minus 3 is 17. Yes, if I substitute 5 for y, the equation is true. 5 is the solution to the equation. Let's try 6. Does 4 times 6 minus 3 equal 17? 4 times 6 is 24, minus 3 is 21. So, no, 6 is not a solution. Now you can say you speak another language, the language of mathematics. Adios!